for so long living in America, we didn't have anything to do with Africa. We didn't know anything about Africa other than what they showed us in movies. You know, you had Tarzan swinging through the trees and, you know, riding on an elephant, come to save the downtrodden people. And um, pictures of black pots with black people in them with a bone in their nose. So if this is the kind of picture that you painted for me, would you want to come to Africa? I don't hear nothing about no Africa. And especially when they're saying, we're not African. We're colored, we've been Negroes, we've been Coons, we've been Jigaboos. We've had so many names. And then we finally came to a point where we were called black people, that we're black. So that's all right up to a point. But black is a color. It does not describe an ethnic group. So then we were, as, as you know, the level of consciousness began to rise, then we became African American. Well, there were still people that didn't, don't, don't call me no African. I mean, I had a young man, I called him an African, he wanted to fight. And my thing was, but we are African. Disprove to me that I am not an African. Okay. Grandma, you see, like, I'm so happy that you brought this up. And I want to ask you this question because um, even my classmate, when I was back in China, I had a classmate who nearly fought with me because I called him what an African. Mm -hmm. And I, even the videos that I do, a lot of people comment that, hey, stop calling us Africans. We are not African, we are Israelis or something. Right. Um, you've been in Ghana and you've lived in America. Mm -hmm. What are you going to address? What, what are you going to tell people who don't see themselves as an African or, you know, some of them even ashamed to claim being an African, even I, I know Africans that were born in Africa, but when they go out of Africa, they don't want to be called Africans. At all, at all. Do you have any message for such people? Yeah, see, one of the analogies that I use when people tell me that they're not African is that I say, you know, let me give you an example. I have a almond tree and I have a coconut tree. The nut germinates when it hits the ground and it grows. When it grows, does it grow to be an almond tree or a coconut tree? Almond tree. It's an almond tree. Exactly. So when they took our ancestors out of those slave forts and dungeons and took them to the Americas, when did they become an American? They didn't. I mean, America's and the slave trade's primary mission was to yank Africa out of our souls, out of our whole being, so that we would be nothing. And so many of us living in America and other colonized countries, we were not allowed to think or say African, okay? There were some of us that held on to it, don't give a damn, I'm an African. So when I explain that to people, my thing is that you're still an African. You're an African that was born in America. I'm an African that was born in America. You're an African that was born in Ghana. He's an African that was born in Kenya. But we are still African people, and we can't get away from that. It's like some brother told me that um, he was a Jamaican. I said, what the hell is a Jamaican? <laughs> now, that's a Jamaican who's living in America, okay? <laughs> so I was like, okay, you know, what, why, listen, the Italian is the Italian is the Italian. He's still Italian. Italian exactly. The Jew is the Jew is the Jew. He's still a Jew. So why is it totally impossible for us to remain to be who it is that we are? African people. And we need to take a look at the very glorious history of us as African people. We were not always slaves. And that's the other thing. People talk about slaves. They did not take slaves out of Africa. They enslaved us and took us out of here. That's a big difference. You know, people make it say, oh yeah, they took the slaves. No, 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 hell no. They didn't come here to our farms and find us mm -hmm. as slaves. They didn't come into our markets and find us as slaves. They enslaved us and took us away. But we're still African. So my message to anybody is that we should be proud of who it is that we are. 
you know, let's say, well, you know, if African people are so great, well, y'all didn't do nothing, you didn't do this, you didn't do that. Well, we don't have what white folks have. White folks have white privilege, which means they get to do any damn thing that they want to do, okay? We don't have that. We have to fight harder. We have to work harder. We have to be better in order to get along. In order to survive, we have to be better. So let us be better as proud, proud African people because that's who we are. We are, we are highly melanated gifts from the Most High, from the universe, and we need to take the time to honor those ancestors because those ancestors got something for us. They do take care of us, okay? Wow. So from today, if you're Jamaican, just yeah. get to know that you're an African born, born in Jamaica. In Jamaica. That's right. I, th I think I would do a t-shirt about this, like being an African born in America, being an African born in the UK. No, I, I think I need to print t-shirt and I'll give you the shout out of you bringing this initiative. Yeah. Thank you so much.